Hello everyone! When we talk about action-adventure games, the household names that come to mind are titles such as God of War, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, the Batman Arkham games, or the latest Spider-Man games. Especially during the PS3 and Xbox 360 era, where there were still multitudes of short single-player experiences that were easy to slip under your radar. Today I want to talk about a game that released during that time. I only found out recently that it actually received a remaster on PC. That game is no other than the one you are seeing on your screen, that is Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Although there will be some mild spoilers in this video, I promise that the story details I am about to share are events that transpire at the beginning of the game, and hopefully convince you to play this underrated gem to experience it in its entirety. Taking inspiration from the popular Chinese novel Journey to the West, but set in a post-apocalyptic world, you play as a large male staff-wielding vagrant named Monkey, who is locked up in a flying ship headed by slavers and hostile mechanical robots heading to an unknown location. As Monkey finds a way to set himself free, a red-haired woman named Trip, also a captive, manages to do so before him and unintentionally results to freeing Monkey as well. Trip eventually sabotages the ship which will inevitably cause it to crash land in a short time frame. With their lives at risk, both Monkey and Trip separately attempt to reach an escape pod before the ship crashes. Suffice to say they both managed to reach one, but probably not what they had in mind. As the two successfully make their escape, a horrible condition has been revealed to Monkey. Uh. <sighs> you. Oh. oh god, my, my head feels like it's ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? Yes! Give me a stop! <laughs> Come in, move away from me! Oh. What the hell are you doing? I hacked a slave headband. So it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. It's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating, for any reason, the headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh. Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farmer community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me, Max will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home, and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. 
let's go. With their unique relationship established, so begins the journey of our two protagonists. Although the premise may be simple, what I found to be compelling in my playthrough is the game's execution of its storytelling. Not to mention, it does offer twists and turns as I eventually became invested with Monkey and Trip and with their growing relationship. In a devastated world swamped with mechs eager to kill on sight, Monkey and Trip's abilities and teamwork will be put to the test as they embark on a journey of self-reflection and discovery, all while uncovering the mystery behind the abduction of humans by the mechs. Believe me when I say that you are in for a treat should you decide to give this game a fair chance. The playable character in Enslaved Odyssey to the West is Monkey, while Trip provides various support abilities to assist Monkey in combat. Monkey primarily uses his staff as his arsenal. Though there's only one weapon in the game, it does have various abilities such as generating a shield for blocking and shooting out energy projectiles used for both combat and solving the game's various puzzles. With Monkey as the front-facing warrior, Trip is the vulnerable but highly intellectual technician and engineer. While mostly responsible for clearing obstacles, she also has abilities that aid Monkey in combat, such as generating a fake clone copy of herself to distract mechs and EMP to stun them should they get close to her. Pulse. My father gave it to me. Trip is also responsible for enhancing Monkey's abilities. Throughout the game, you collect glowing orbs scattered in the world and also when defeating enemies. These orbs can be used to enhance Monkey's abilities, such as increasing his health and projectile damage. A standard action adventure game mechanic, but a fulfilling one nonetheless. Apart from engaging with mechs using Monkey's combat prowess, the game at times provides turret defense sections to break the ice. While not often, this usually entails having to defend Trip as she makes her way towards the objective. Puzzles also come in different varieties, especially the ones mixed with combat. You will need to be fast on your feet, as well as be aware of the situation. Believe me when I say the game can indeed catch you off guard, if you are not careful, despite its generally easy difficulty. Okay, I gotta stop! I gotta stop! Get in! Although this game is over a decade old, the visuals I believe still hold up to this day. It is pleasant to look at the various vistas and remnants of the old world, and character models such as Monkey, Trip, and the mechs look very detailed. Enslaved Odyssey to the West took me approximately 7 hours to complete. The story is compelling, the characters are likable with good development, the graphics still look great despite the game's age, the voice acting is excellent, and the combat can be fulfilling despite at times feeling repetitive and shallow. The puzzles are creative, but not too complicated to frustrate players. Back in the day, I thoroughly enjoyed this game when it was priced at $60 for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Now at present with a price tag of approximately $15 on Steam, or if you manage to snag it at a sale for less than $3, the price that I bought it for, I highly recommend this overshadowed game. Sure, it may not be as great as the likes of the games I mentioned at the start of the video, but if you're looking for an action-packed title that does not disrespect your time and wallet, do yourself a favor and pick this one up. I would have absolutely loved the sequel for this title. Although the ending does wrap up the story, there is definitely plenty of room for a continuation. I can only hope that materializes someday. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Kindly like and subscribe if you liked the video and for more future content. Have a great day.